so we've left the Verdon Gorges and as you can see we're passing some beautiful lavender fields the stunning colours at the moment and the smells are just incredible you can smell the lavender um, and you can smell all the other plants that we've got here and uh, a bit of oregano, isn't it? A bit of thyme. A bit of thyme. All the different purples. Amazing. Yeah, and linseed I smelt uh, the other day. Absolutely stunning. It's uh, gorgeous. And yeah, so we're now heading up, back up towards Morzine, but we're stopping off um, before we reach Morzine. We're going back up to see our son-in-law and uh, yeah. daughter. Um, so we're really looking forward to that again. Stay with them for a couple of nights before we head back off to uh, Pay de Gal, back to no. Wales. I know, I don't no. want to go. I want to stay in France forever. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, what's the place that we're staying at tonight? Um, well, I'm aiming for Ailiba, which uh, is a lake a little bit southwest of Lake Geneva. Uh, it's about 180 miles from Verdon Gorge today, so um, we left about 10-ish, 10.30-ish, so we're hoping to get there about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon uh, with nostrils full of the scent of all those lovely herbs that uh, Nicky was talking about. Yes, absolutely er amazing. Herbs de Provence, of course. Yes, yeah. And here's some more. <laughs> Beautiful. Done. So, hopefully we'll show you some good scenery along the way. Yeah. basically means Island of Swans at uh, Ailebain which is a town so it's A-I-X and then a hyphen then uh, Le, L-E-S and then uh, another hyphen and then Bain, B-A-I-N-S Ailebain but um, there's a camping area uh, here as well so um, out just sort of, in fact, almost outside the gates. It might be a camping cart one, um, but certainly it's a form of air, either cheap or free. And then um, almost immediately next to it, you've got the option then, um, if you wanted the sanitary facilities and all of that, and a bit of hook up. So we've come into the site, it was 20, 24 euros, so it's about 20 quid, which includes the electric, of course. Um, and gives you access to uh, to what is a really nice site. Look at this. We're only about 40 or 50 metres away from the water. Well, that's a bit old Frankie. Look at the sun, isn't it? With these wheel blankets to keep the sun off. Look at that. 
Now that is quite a spot for a campsite, isn't it? Yeah? Absolutely lovely. In the mountains, so we're sort of southwest of Lake Ansi. Um, as we wind our way back towards Mulzine and to meet up with uh, our eldest again and her hubby. So it's like another mini RC but stretching for quite a way as you can see the lake grass. Um, there's a little, uh, there's, I think it's called Old Savoir Airport which is uh, just sort of round to the right there. So actually the lake is almost the uh, flight path in and out but only little, looks like little private jets and stuff. A uh, couple of three a day, so I don't think it'll be that much of a disturbance. But... Sanitary blocks, um, just over there, we're just behind this other van here. So nothing's too far away, bit of table tennis over there, that'd be nice too. Might have a play with that later. They've got a little cafe on site, and uh, I'll show you this in a sec when I'm back in the van. Just so you can get a feel of the layout here. But you certainly couldn't fault the setting. We won't get much stuff out. Look at the state of this van. That's about three stops ago. In fact, I might even have been in Spain that lot. Outrageous, I know. But the last couple of sites we were on, we don't like the washing vehicles for obvious reasons, because it's a bit of a water, conserving water, you know. So, uh, so minging she's had to stay while we travel around the south of France. But can you believe, stop press, we've only got a week to go, so we're about five weeks in my six kilo gas tank is still going. Yes, now I know we've only been barbecuing, but uh, but still going. So that's five weeks. I've not touched the 13 kilo, which is incredible. I mean, it is. It's saying on my uh, true map, it's saying it's uh, it's almost negligible, but it is still going. Let's see if it's still going. Look at that. Yeah. My first six kilo bottle is still going. And there we go. There's a diagram, diagram of the uh, layout there. We've come in on um, the allocators number 48. It was quite, uh, it's quite a long pitch. So you can see we've kept the trailer on, which is dead handy as we're only here for one night. Surrounded by water there. So absolutely great if we were going to get the uh, kayak out and be staying here. But we're, uh, we're just passing through, as it were. But yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of stuff. They also do as well um, motorhome servicing. So you could come here if you weren't staying, and uh, they do what they call a motorhome water change point. So you could uh, drop grey, pick up fresh, all that sort of stuff, um, probably for a nominal fee, and some absolutely cracking views of the lake there. Beautiful. So Resi the Moho just over there. We've got a sanitation block there. And then you've got some dedicated boat space. That's that other water access that runs past sort of two or three sides of the triangle that the site is. Some nice shady pictures, uh, shady pictures as well, aren't there? Under these trees here. It's certainly warm today. I mean, it's, you can see there's a bit of cloud up there, but it's, uh, it's over 30 at the moment. Oh, that's a nice pitch, look at that. Must be a permanent one there, lovely. Planted some lovely geraniums there. Like a lot of the sites in France, there are a proportion that are often um, home to people who just have tents or caravans that they leave there permanently. And visit them regularly throughout the season, no doubt. And why wouldn't you when you've got a lovely spot like this? And to drop in on spec on the, what are we now, 29th of June, drop in on spec. They, uh, they actually had one nearer the water, um, but I just asked for something a little bit longer so I didn't have to take the trailer off the back. Um, but we're still, as you saw, we're still only about 30, 40 metres away from the water. So, uh, yeah, really lovely. Plenty of room here, as you can see, quite a lot of vacant pitches. But come the second week in July, probably a bit busier. Quite a few brick plates as well here. Didn't see many further south, but quite a few on this site. And we're just wandering back towards reception now. We've got some fixed tents there that you can see in front of you. If you fancy driving or flying down here and nabbing one of those. So there we go. That's the name as my pronunciation probably didn't quite hit the spot. <laughs> but uh, 
there's that layout again you saw on the leaflet the terrace down there and then this I thought I'd just show you briefly because you can see all the mohos right at the back of these cars this is obviously um, the camping car so do you remember we stayed at Balgarde when we were en route um, or coming back from Spain so that's exactly the same process it's that plastic credit card size ticket that you load with credit um, and the rate for this one which I was just coming to have a look for um, you see it's seasonal so daily rate 11th May, 12th May, 17th September so um, you can stay on one of these for a maximum of four nights 14 euros 50 um, or if you just wanted to empty and fill water you can actually do a van service as well you can do that for two euros fifty so fourteen fifty uh, without the facilities um, and sanitary um, and then in just in there where we booked was 24 so it's an extra nine euros fifty to get the electricity and a few of the extra bits and bobs albeit that might yeah that might actually include the electric Yes, if it was like Balgarde, that probably does include electric, but um, so it might well do. Um, but uh, so either for you to choose from if you fancied a, a run through here. Very nice selection. There's a little calf, open till about nine or ten tonight. Well, look at that. And that's the other side of the triangle that the site's on. A lovely little marina i bet a few of those permanent pitches here have got a boat or two in there haven't they lovely out for a bit of fishing what a backdrop so we're coming up the sort of left hand side of the site now wow look that guy drives a bit like me in the moho doesn't he <laughs> I want to go with the car. And then we just go down. And there we go. We're just about back round. Full circle. Quick run around the camp. We're behind that, behind that van there. So, uh, don't know, got to be a couple of hundred pictures here at least. But uh, compact, doesn't take long to get around. Plenty of room. See us. You can see that one there, that empty pitch. Great size, really good size pitches. Um, some smaller ones, obviously, but certainly bigger if you've got a bigger rig. And uh, back round to Resi the Moho. Right, time to get a bit of plastic and go and raid the cafe. Well, we're parked up in a lay by, having left the campsite a couple of hours ago this morning, the one at Isle Bar. And I'm still determined to try and make this six kilo gas bottle run out, but it just hasn't. We've just, we've just boiled the kettle. Look, still going. Boil the kettle. The fridge is, uh, the fridge is running on gas as well because we've been parked up here. And we're basically uh, waiting for uh, Rhiannon's hubby's plane, which has been delayed. Good old EasyJet. Um, so we've had to park up before diving into En masse, which is just near Geneva, where the plane will be coming in a bit later. But anyway, uh, while we're waiting, look, we've been doing all those most important things like playing cards and brewing up and citing things like that, haven't we? Um, yes, doing a bit of oh, reading yeah, as I well. Can I can rec recommend this book. It's Ooh, good. What is it? If you're on holiday or you're going on holiday, no time for goodbye. It's a good thriller. It's, yeah, it's... Um, I'll have to try that yeah, it's. Uh, I won't give it all away, but it's about a um, teenage girl. She returns from school and all her family have gone missing. Oh, well, that's enough for me then. Need to find out, don't we? Anyway, while we are sat in this not very scenic lay-by um, in the south of Geneva, we'll tell you about, or what we thought about, um, the campsite at I Le Bain. Um What do we think? Oh, well, when we arrived, it was lovely and warm, and the lake looked mm. very inviting, but we were so tired, we didn't actually get in the lake, but um, there were lots of people swimming. No. Um, we just really had time for a meal, and... Um, yeah, at that calf, yeah. Yeah. It was nice, all right, though, wasn't it? It was nice, yeah. I mean, we, yes. were, we were very close to the lake, I mean, literally, you know, um, within throwing a 
penny distance. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, as you saw on that clip of film, it was a hop, skip, and a small jump, and we were at the lake. So, uh, shower block sanitation. What do you think? What was the ladies yeah, like? Yeah, it was all. It was all uh, clean. Um, yeah, it was fine actually. Yeah. Mm. So. Until the next time, we will uh, catch up with you, no doubt, as we probably carry on up north, so out of Morzine and up towards the dreaded Calais and the Eurotunnel home. Going home. Um, mm. <laughs> to pla no, to plan when we go again. I'm looking forward to seeing family and friends. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I've missed everybody. Um, so, yeah, that would be, it would be really nice to, to, yeah. do, to do the catch up. And I'm really looking forward to seeing our son in law Ben and our lovely daughter Rhiannon very soon. Yes, indeed. So we'll see you on the trip north towards Calais once we've left Morzine. And thanks ever so much for watching. We will see you soon. Bye, Bye guys. Now. Bye.